First, we go to the City Sports Grill hotline and bring in Rob Lunn, senior defensive tackle for the UConn Huskies. They take on Rutgers this weekend. Talk to Rob about that and much more. Rob, it's Jason Page. You're on the back page. ESPN Radio 1410 in Hartford. ESPN Radio 1300 in New Haven. What's going on, my man? Not too much. Uh, you guys call me right before I'm about to get my ankles taped and head out to practice. Ankles taped and probably going beat up on some people, right? Yeah, maybe just a few. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll take it easy on our old line today. Save it all for Rutgers. Yeah, really. Hey, let me ask you what this off week was like for you guys coming off that loss, loss to North Carolina. What kinds of things did you focus on? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we got back. Obviously, we were we were down about the loss. We did not play you know, anywhere near the kind of game we wanted to play. And uh, we just got in. We got a 24-hour rule, whether it's a win or a loss. You know, you uh, either enjoy it or you mourn it for 24 hours, and you move on. And uh, we, we correct the mistakes. We watch some film, and we address those uh, during our practices during the week. And we just kind of use the time to clear our heads, uh, you know, get our, get our legs back underneath us and, and focus up on Rutgers. Been a strange season defensively with this team, Rob. I think you'd have to agree. I mean, it seems like you guys, and, and tell me if I'm wrong, because uh, you're more than welcome to put me in my place, especially because you're about double the size of me. Um, seems like you guys struggle early and sometimes get behind. And then in the second half, it looks like you guys are making great adjustments, playing much better defensively in the second half. What seems to be the issue in terms of you know getting off the ground early? You know, I just think that we haven't uh, really come out and play, played a complete game defensively yet. You know, you know, statistically we're still doing very, very well. And um, I think you know the good play in the second half is that we pride ourselves on being in the best condition and also, you know, never losing the fourth quarter, especially defensively. Um, I think that you know we just we just need to start you know learning to come out and fire a little bit more in, in the uh, in the first quarter. I would agree. I would agree with you on that. But uh, I also think that you know our, our record speaks for itself. You know, five and one right now. So obviously we've been doing um, doing enough to get it done, and especially you know the past two weeks we've been pretty pretty banged up. Um, you know, basically the, almost the whole D line went down against uh, against Louisville, and we held it together. And we were able to get the win. So, you know, hopefully against Rutgers this week we can put a full game together. But you know, we're certainly not taking anything lightly. That's uh, they're a one of five team that's coached by Greg Schiano, which means they're still coming coming to play every week. And they did if you look at the film. You know, it's small mistakes here and there that are costing them games. Talking with Rob Lund, senior defensive tackle at UConn. They take on Rutgers on Saturday at 12. The game could be seen on ESPNU. Um, as a team, and I, I get to talk to the offensive players about this in particular, um, you know, I've spoken with Donald Brown. I've talked with Tyler throughout the year. And, and with Tyler going down, uh, you know, obviously guys on the offensive side of the ball feel it a little bit more. But on the even on the defensive end, you know, when you see a guy like Tyler Lorenzen go down with an injury this early in the season and, and realize, look, you know, the whole plan really changes with Zach Frazier. He's going to throw the ball a little bit more. You know, as a team and somebody on the defensive side of the ball, uh, what was the reaction from you guys when you saw Tyler go down and what it means for your season? Uh, I think, you know, during the Louisville game, when we saw him go down, it was just like, all right, well, you know, we got to pick it up a little bit more here because, you know, we have, we have a new quarterback in there. And to our surprise and actually delight, you know, Zach did a, a, a very, very good job, you know, leading leading the offense in the, in the second half of the team. And, and defensively, it doesn't really change anything for us because we have, you know, such a, such a confidence in Zach that he can get the, get the job done. I mean, especially with his arm. You know, see, you, you see the kid making some throws, especially, you know, he's been here the past couple of years, and we watch him make these throws in practice, and, and I've, I've honestly thought to myself, you know, if Tyler ever went down, we would be just fine because Zach can get the job done, and I think he'll be able to show that against Rutgers. Um, you know, obviously against North Carolina, and he's the first to admit it. He said he didn't have the best game, and um, he tried to do too much. And I said, Zach, you know, what, what do you want to do? Too little? You know, just keep on playing your game, and you know, he'll be fine. I think the defense, you know, we really don't concern ourselves too much with the offense because that's their side of the ball, and you know, it's uh, we just focus on what, what we have to take care of, and that's uh, that's that's holding the other team to the. To, this, to as few points as possible. Talking with UConn senior defensive tackle Rob Lunn on the City Sports Grill hotline on this uh, Tuesday edition of the back page. UConn taking on Rutgers on Saturday. Uh, you've seen plenty of Mike Teal over the last couple of years here in your time at UConn. Uh, three touchdowns, seven interceptions, probably not the start he envisioned getting off to. And obviously this Rutgers offense uh, has seen change with, changes with Ray Rice uh, no longer in the mix. Still, what sorts of things do you think Teal and challenges he might be able to oppose, uh, might be able to pose for you guys? Well, uh, actually, i got to correct you here. I've actually been, my career with Mike Teal goes before Rutgers, and that was uh, New York, New Jersey All Star Game. I actually played against him. My, how about that? My, my, my senior year of high school. Oh, how about that? Yeah. So me and him, me and him have a have, have a have a little have a little uh, little rapport with each other, talking about how you know New York beat up on New Jersey that year. But <laughs> um, you know, you look at the film, and 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 what Mike Hill has 
has the ability to do is get hot at any time, and that's. Uh, I mean that's just that's just consistent. Whether the team's down or team's up, I mean he he can get hot at any time and go on a streak. You know, obviously there's some drop off. You know, missing Ray Rice, it's an NFL caliber back that was a legitimate Heisman, you know, Heisman candidate. And uh, I, I, but I, you know what, you look at their you look at their running backs now, and they have the ability to break break and make the big play. And um, Teal's got some targets downfield. I mean his his receiving core is real strong, and he's obviously got a good arm. So. I just don't think that this game can be taken lightly at all because at any any time he can break it wide open. Are you surprised at the way Rutgers has struggled this year? Yeah, I am. You know, I, uh, I honestly expect them every year to be you know top of the beast and, and top competitors. Um, but you know, no no team goes in the games thinking they're going to lose, and uh, I don't think they're going to take this one any differently. Hey, you get to play on the same side of the ball as Darius Butler. Your <laughs> thoughts on what you've seen from him this year, and uh, you know all the attention he's receiving and how he's handled that. Oh, you know, completely, completely deserved. If you've ever seen D. Ball, he's the most tremendous athlete yep. and the hardest worker um, on the field, you know, at, at any one time. And I think he's handled it, you know, obviously very well. He's still performing, still coming out to play, you know, working through working through the bumps and bruises of the season. You know, a lot of guys, I think in his situation, that are projected to be, you know, be a first round draft pick, they start getting bumped up a little bit. They might shut it down and be selfish. But Darius is out there, you know, doing it all, returning kicks, you know, getting picks, and and he's working through, you know, the, the nicks that comes, with, you know, with playing a long season. So. You know, he's completely an unselfish player. Talking about Rob Lund, senior defensive tackle from UConn. They take on Rutgers. He's getting set to get out and do some practice. And, hey, um, I talked about this last week with DJ Hernandez, uh, and I just wanted to get your thoughts as a fellow senior, you know, final season for you at UConn. And, and I asked this of DJ, I'll ask it of you, what it would mean uh, for you as a senior and, and the possibility of winning uh, another Big East title. Um. You know, it would just it would just be a great way to go out. You know, you always want to go out on top. And the truth of the matter is, you never want to play your last game. But I think that it would be a uh, be a be a real real testament to the hard work these seniors have put in. You know, coming into the program in 2004, going to a bowl game and having some down years and bouncing back and just having the uh, you know having the grit to stick with the program that you know you know has struggled on and off. And I think it would be a good way to send out the seniors. You know, and I also set an example for the younger guys that this is a tradition. Of uh, of excellence in UConn football. Seems like you may have a career in entertainment. I was re- I was I was reading your blog this morning. I never laughed so much. Where do you find the time? I got to figure this out because I want to know how you find the time to blog every day. I have a blog of my own uh, over at ESPN Radio fourteen ten and ESPN Radio thirteen hundred dot com, and I can't even keep up with it. And I'm just hoping hosting a stupid radio show every day. How do you manage with going to a class? I assume you go right. You do go right. <laughs> You know, see that's that's the thing right there. Is I'm only taking one class this semester, ah. and, and it only meets once a week. So I have a lot, I have a lot of free time in between watching film and, and eating. I was gonna, say, I was gonna say, with all the free time you have, you should come and hang out with us in the studio. You have a car. I, I should come down. You guys trying to give me a job? You know, I'm, I'm going to be gainfully unemployed in about uh, about three months. What are you going to school for? I am a political science major. So you want to be uh, a politician? Oh well, you know the original plan was to go to um, was to go to law school, but I've been getting some uh, getting some good positive feedback from from the blog and from the writing, and uh, it's opened up a few doors for me. So, and listen, good. I think you got a career in entertainment. How do you manage? You know, even with the football, I mean that in itself is a full time job when you're in college. How do you find the time to write a blog as much as you do? And it is a great blog. I you know, I appreciate the comment. You know, I just I, honestly it doesn't seem like work for me. It's just it's just me kind of just ranting about my thoughts and uh, my inner mon- my inner monologue, and uh, <laughs> I enjoy it. It's been kind of a release. I think that if it was just me, you know, working out, eating, watching film, and then going to bed every day, I didn't have any kind of outlet that uh, I'd probably go nuts. So this has been a uh, been, been a good thing for me. Tell people the address so they can go check out your yeah, blog because yeah, it's real. It's great. Please do. It's uh it's a uh, lun l u n n sixty five dot blogspot dot com. You know, it's a lun sixty five dot blogspot dot com. Yeah, I mean you've really got some funny things on there. The the top three quotes that you have on there. I've never laughed so hard. I was reading them with Evan Wilner back there today. I thought it was great. Um, I'll put a link to it. I promise you. I'll put a link to it over on uh, over on my website as well. I uh, appreciate it. Hey Rob, appreciate the time. Best of luck against Rutgers. Hope we get to do it again soon, my friend. Absolutely. You guys have a good good day.